Early on in the year, we were absolutely shut down against spread RPO-based offenses, but a slew of Vanguard abilities and broken tackle pre-lit X-Factors have led to a lot of feedback that you guys are struggling with this. And I'm not gonna lie, I am too, and I'm sick and tired of it. Sick and tired of being a nobody. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get free hits that look a little bit like this and a little bit like this against these offenses so that they will no longer give you problems. Let's get into it. What's up guys, Dan from the Zam Madden YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys conceptually how to stop stack RPOs, monster RPOs, a lot of the best RPO style offenses in Madden, regardless of blocking abilities or pre-lit X factors. If you guys are looking for the ability to get hits on the wide receiver as they catch the ball, especially with that brand new Jamal Adams X factor, this is the video for you. Now, before we get into today's video, if you guys could do me a quick favor, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Also take the time to hit the notification bell and give the video a thumbs up as it helps push it in the algorithm and of course if you guys are feeling up to it drop a comment below let me know what you think of the video as well now today's video is going to be a peek behind the curtain of our vault that i have been uploading in july right on gridirongameplans.gg now at gridiron we pride ourselves on staying top of the most popular metas and this is something that evolves not only in August when the game comes out, but even into July. If you guys are a year-round player, there are people out there that are constantly changing the way that they play, and those trends catch fire. This spread offense that we're breaking down with the vanguards and the pre-lit X-Factors is arguably the bane of my existence, so I wanted to drop a YouTube video for you guys. Although, if you guys are looking to maybe choose a strategy website for Madden 24, I would strongly urge you guys to take advantage of our pre-sale for Madden 24 over on GridironGamePlans.gg. For $75, you guys can unlock every everything that I drop on the website and you guys can take a look at the Madden 23 content that I have posted as well. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into enough yapping. We are going to show you guys what to do against stack RPOs. This could be gun double stack, monster, regular stack alignments that you see in other playbooks that aren't spread. Basically anything where there is some sort of stack screen, you guys are gonna to wanna to use this concept. Early in the year, we started to use defensive ends and flats with tackling abilities, but now that there are pre-lit X-Factor running backs where you really need to hit them, that becomes a little bit of a strategy that's gone by the wayside. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna talk about using safeties manned up on the back player in a stack alignment to allow you to get free hits on the wide receiver. Now, for me personally, I am a big fan of using avalanches at these spots. So in my favorite defense, the over G, I'm gonna put Derrick Henry, and I'm gonna put that Jamal Adams that everybody's rocking right now. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna choose a coverage shell. Kind of up to you what you wanna do. I would probably recommend going with something that resembles a cover three. Um, and also has your outside linebacker and your nickel corner in purple zones. And this will make sense as well. With this, I would choose base align on to keep everybody in the box and kind of entice people to throw the screens. So with this base align on, you're gonna see that we got kind of six in the box against five blockers out on the perimeter. This is really baiting that your opponent is going to throw the screen. And what we're gonna do even is we're gonna to try to take this user on this side and really bait it. Now, what we're gonna do here is we are going to take this safety and we're gonna man him up on the back player in the stack alignment. And you could arguably do the same with this safety as well. Although most players are probably not gonna throw to this side because that's the side with the nickel corner. So that's up to you depending on their tendencies. For this video, I'm gonna leave Derrick Henry in the middle third. And then I'm gonna lurk right here on this hook curl defender. And what you're gonna notice with this is that when they go to automatically hike throw this to the outside, we are gonna get a free hit on that wide receiver. Now, because I don't have the ability to turn the receiver upfield like your opponents will in the game, we're not gonna see fumbles in this particular video, but as you might imagine, receiving this particular throw and immediately trying to turn upfield into an avalanche, if the defensive player clicks on with the avalanche and flicks that stick up, this is gonna be a fumble nearly every single time. So this is gonna be a throw that is gonna be very, very dangerous in this particular regard. Again, putting the correct abilities in the correct spots is, I would say 90% of the battle. Then from there, it's all about, you know, just setting up the right call. So again, this concept is safety manned up on the back receiver. So if they go to throw this out to the flat, we are gonna be able to get those hits 
You can see right there, that could have been a fumble. That was a universal coverage knockout right there. But we're going to be able to force that pretty easily. Now, this is not just something that you'll do in over G. This can be applied to a lot of other defensive formations in Madden. So let's say, for instance, those of you that are out there that run dollar, um, we could run kind of the same concept. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to take Derrick Henry. I'm going to take him out of the slot. We'll put uh, Amani Hooker there. We'll put Jamal Adams here and we'll put Derrick Henry here. And again, with this kind of up to you how you want to do this, but um, kind of in my opinion here, I would just go ahead and call some sort of um, coverage where the outside players are dropping deep and then you can kind of man up your safeties however you see fit. So from a dollar standpoint, how's about we go with um, cover three buzz spy? Um, and again, the whole purpose of this here is we'll probably as a defensive player, again, against this screen, we kind of want to make them think that we're blitzing. After all, the dollar meta, there's a lot of people that blitz these guys, which is why so many of these players run screens. But what you're going to see right here is we could man up these players. Now, you don't necessarily want to like base align because you see when I man up this player, he kind of slides across. So if you unbase align before you do this, actually, let me reset the play so you see the difference. Um, basically, in dollar, when you are base aligned and you man players up, they kind of slide. So again, watch if I man up, you see how he slides out. You don't want to do that. So turn your base align off uh, with this, or if you're going to come out base aligned, basically just click onto this guy, kind of like that video we broke down last week. So that way, when you do this, it doesn't give those tells. And then from there, it's going to be up to you. You can go kind of put this guy in a deep middle third. you got these purples. Um, you can even blitz these guys if you want to kind of really just entice them to throw the ball off the edge. Um, so, again, they see that slot corner blitz and they're going to say, ooh, and they're going to, you know, throw the ball right out to that flat. Well, that's going to lead to that guy getting that hit, right? So you want to make sure that you're you're kind of playing, playing with them a little bit as it pertains how this goes. So, again, here... Uh, you're kind of manning up the back guys here and kind of enticing them to throw the ball down. Now, again, in this situation, kind of with the numbers, most players aren't going to throw that stack screen against the dollar alignment, but I do want to show you that you could probably blitz that slot corner and bait them into the throw. Um, you know, this is more so for defenses that are kind of predicated on packing the box, which is another part of the battle because when you factor in that so many players like to put in glowing running backs in this spot, um, this is where it really ends up being very difficult. So, um, you know, for instance, we got this RPO zone alert. They're going to try to run the ball on. And you're going to be able to kind of take this principle and apply it into, you know, a 3-4, a 4-3, really any defense you want. If you guys play in CFMs where screens give you guys trouble, kind of the same principles here. So here's an example of like a cover two invert. Here in this situation, we might even go ahead. Um, let's go and uh, we'll kind of play this like so. I'm going to man up, man up. We're playing kind of an invert, right? And you could even blitz the guy off the edge, whatever it is you want to do here. Um, kind of up to you. You know, you can maybe put these guys in flats, kind of, you know, just do this. But again, when you go to throw this ball, you see how like Derrick Henry is out there, bang. That's going to be a click on for the defense and you're going to be able to get those fumbles with an avalanche. If you guys don't have avalanche, don't want to pay for avalanche on a guy like Derrick Henry, you could use secure tacklers. Those are really, really important as well because some players will take, um, you know, a phenom ability, a flash, you know, something like that. They'll throw them on the outside in this back position because they want them to be able to break the tackle after the catch. So in this regard, let's say that I'm a player that doesn't have avalanches. Well, as long as you have a secure tackler, for instance, I've got Jair Brown here. This is a guy that I can utilize that will be able to kind of, um, you know, do this for me. So uh, again here, I'm going to actually right here, let's uh, let's flip this. So I've got Jair Brown over here um, and I'm just going to keep my nickel corner over here. That way we're kind of just simulating, you know, uh, him being on that side. So now we got Jair Brown out here. I can man him up to, you know, a glowing player. You know, these are guys that they're expecting to break that tackle after the screen catch. Well, if they're throwing this and this is being hit by a secure tackler, they're not going to break that. So this is a great way for you guys to be able to counteract people that like to throw, you know, Phenom or, you know, it could be the Patterson or the CJ2K item. You'll run into players that are also going to run Vanguard. And the cool thing about this little concept is that um, with Vanguard, yeah, that works for a nasty streak, but they're blocking the outside guy. They're not actually looking to, you know, uh, block the inside guy. So from the offensive player's perspective, they're reading the outside corner. Oh, he's backing up. I'm throwing this ball. The problem is they're reading the wrong guy because by the time this guy catches the hot read, 
bang, this is going to be a secure tackle, an avalanche, an enforcer, whatever it is you guys want to be able to make those big plays in space. Now what you're going to end up doing with this is you're going to put your opponents in a spot where they actually have to dot out of this formation. And I'm not here to tell you that double stack isn't a decent passing offense. It can be a decent passing offense. If you guys are wanting, you know, kind of my overall covered shell for defending real passes out of this that aren't RPO screens, uh, make sure you guys head over to Gridiron. Again, the Madden pre-sale is live. You guys can unlock everything on the website from 23 to kind of poke around for now uh, in the two to three weeks leading up to Madden 24. So take advantage of the pre-sale while time lasts. August 1st is when it expires. Don't miss out. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.